Thank you for joining me for Companies Coming by Arthur Yorinks. On the day Shirley had invited all of her relatives to dinner and Mo, her husband, was pleasantly tinkering in the yard, a flying saucer quietly landed next to the tool shed. Mo was surprised. Shirley, he yelled. Shirley jo joined Mo on the patio. Mo, you had to buy that barbecue? It's too big, she complained. Cheryl, it's not a barbecue, Mo said. Suddenly, a small hatch on the saucer opened and out walked two visitors from outer space. Greetings, they spoke in English. We come in peace. Do you have a bathroom? Stunned, Shirley replied, down the hall to the left. The foreigners nodded graciously and walked into the house. How could you let them in the house? Mo was upset. Did you see those helmets? Those ray guns? They'll vaporize us. Mo was very upset. Shush, they're coming, Shirley whispered. Stay calm, be polite. Maybe we can make friends with them. What a lovely house you have, the strangers commented. What do you call this place? Belmore, Shirley politely answered. The visitors nodded. We're from away, far away, and we've been traveling for years on our way to the next galaxy. How about a sandwich? You must be hungry. Shirley nervously interrupted. Would you like to stay for dinner? Gee, they replied. We'd love to. We'll return at six o'clock. The spacemen went back to their ship and flew off. Mo and Shirley ran into the house. Are you crazy? The cousins are coming tonight. Why did you invite them to dinner? Mo asked. They'll atomize us. Belmore, the whole earth is doomed. I tell you, Mo was hysterical. Mo, Mo, take it easy. They look like nice boys, Shirley said. Come, help me make the potato salad. But Mo had other thoughts. Saying he had to wash his hands, he went upstairs and called the FBI. The FBI called the Pentagon, and the Pentagon called the Army, the Air Force, and the Marines. At quarter to six, the house was surrounded. Inside, the cousins sat, panicked. Act natural, Shirley told her relatives. Be nice. So they look a little different. I'm sure they're friendly, she said, as she served the appetizers. Don't worry, Mo added. If those aliens make one false move, they've had it. So relax. Mo heard a humming and ran to the window. They're here, he yelled. The doorbell rang. Everyone froze. Cousin Etta fainted. I'll get it, Shirley called. She went to the door. Hello, hello, come right in. She greeted the men from outer space. They were carrying a box. How about a drink, some soda? Are you tired? It's getting late. If you leave now, you'll just miss the traffic. Mo tried to usher them out. So guys, what's new? Have you been to Venus yet? I hear it's hot in the summer. Cousin Sheldon the Loudmouth asked. The spacemen sat. Well, we're on a way to check out a new planet. Our population has grown so quickly that we must branch out and find new places to live. You know what I mean? Sure, we know what you mean, Mo blurted. An invasion, 
We're doomed, he whispered to Cousin Harriet. Dinner, Shirley called. Oh, please, before dinner, we have something for you. It'll knock you out. The visitors presented their box. It's a bomb. It's gas. It's a laser, Etta yelled, and then she fainted again. Soldiers burst into the house. Tanks pointed their guns. Shirley gingerly began to unwrap the gift. We weren't sure if you had one of these, the men started to say. Shirley interrupted. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a. Uh. The cousins were paralyzed. It's a, uh, it's a. Uh. Shirley continued. Mo was sweating from head to foot. Oh, Shirley blurted. Etta, Mo, and Sheldon fainted. It's a blender, Shirley declared, and we don't have one. We thought you'd like it, and it was on sale, the spaceman beamed. Shirley went over and kissed them both. Let's eat, she said. Late, luckily, Shirley had made extra spaghetti and meatballs. The cousins, the soldiers, the pilots, the Marines, the FBI men, everyone sat down and had a delicious meal from soup to nuts. Thank you for joining me for Companies Coming by Arthur Yorick's.